and welcome to our new episode of The Three oh, Whisketeers, yeah. the show that likes to share whiskey and have a lot of fun. Uh, my name is Jamie, I'm your host, this is our angel here at Hipster Curtis, and our happy Honduran, Eddie. Now, Curtis, today we wa- I look upon the table, and there's nothing there. There's crackers? There's crackers, there's, there's a pitcher of water. <laughs> pitcher of water? Yeah, we but need we that. We always need that. Yeah. We need the crackers Usually the we water. cleanse our palate from well, whiskey, but, but there's no whiskey. We, we live in Iowa. Yeah. Oh, okay. no. So, it's really hard to get certain things. Right. And when things do come in, it's sort of hit and miss on whether you're going to be able to grab it. Usually you're on a wait list for a long time. Yeah, yeah you'll be lucky. All that and even, even though this particular whiskey I found is, might be available to all those other people across the country very easily. So, I know I said when I found it, I would call you and you would go and buy it because you wanted to go and buy it. Yeah. But it was a last minute thing. It came in. Our wonderful friends at Ben's got it for me. Mm. So, Matt, once again, came through for us. Matt again. came through for us. Friend of the show. So, I'm not really excited about this bottle, <laughs> but for some reason, you are just jumping up and down about this. It has some stupid thing to do. I don't know. The Proper 12 from Conor McGregor's Irish Whiskey. The Still Proper 12. Oh, wow. It's a proper 12. It's a proper 12. <laughs> okay. Paying tribute to where it all begins for me, Dublin 12, our master distiller and I set out with one goal in mind to craft a proper Irish whiskey that is true to Ireland. We are honored we are, we are honored to share this with you and proud to donate the first responders for every bottle sold. Wow, that's cool. And, and enjoy the smooth and balanced whiskey, fine blend of golden grain and full-flavored malted barley. Triple distilled and aged a minimum of three years in bourbon barrels. Proper number 12 offers hints of vanilla, honey, and sweetness in toasted wood. A proper salute to y'all. What's Eddie going to do? Why do we even have him? Uh, this, you know what? This was a surprise to me. Okay. So I wanted to... Well, yeah, it. No, that's definitely something I can say. They spell whiskey with an E at the end. Uh, so that's kind of different. I mean, I thought... Maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's a typo again. I mean, it, does anybody know how to spell whiskey? <laughs> it depends on where you're from. Does well, anyone yeah. know how to spell whiskateers? No. <laughs> that's a Whiskateers. Yes. <laughs> Just like it sounds. <laughs> Okay, the color is really kind of interesting. And I did a little research, and I believe it comes from Bushmills. So, you know, our we, we love our double black. Where did we go off to? Ah, uh, it's back here. I can already uh, smell the Irish. We it love our black like bush. It. Yep. Mm, we love leave it. Leave that up front. There we go. Oh, my our black bush. Am I going nuts? Because yeah. I think I almost smell a little seaweed in there. Go ahead and try that. I'm going to get your first impression. I mean, really, it's not bad. You seem like you were being kind of pessimistic about it. You know what? Well, this is, this is the, uh, it's just getting slammed. What? Or this stands true to Irish stuff. It's a little light, um, but it has a, somewhat a, a, a more rich body than usual that I think from Irish whiskeys. Um, I definitely taste the vanilla a little bit, and it's almost like a little peat, like a little tiny peat in there. You guys have a little I'm peat? Getting, I'm getting peat, yeah. Well, I don't think there's peat in it. No, but it does seem to have a something it's like that. It's probably from the in the bourbon barrels. Mm-hmm. It's like a, not, like a mint. Okay, so... so yeah, like so a little mint in there. If it's made of bushmills, we're talking about probably a corn, a barley, maybe wheat, but probably just corn and barley. Okay. Mm. I'm guessing. Mm. And uh, 12 years? Yeah, it's smooth enough to be 12 years. No, it's three. Oh, it's three? Yeah. Right, right, right around the time... 12. Uh... I would imagine he's uh, it, it's Conor McGregor's whiskey, and he that was right about the time when he fought Floyd Mayweather in the boxing match. So maybe twelve rounds of boxing. I really don't know. I did not. You I, were so excited about this, and you didn't learn anything about it at all. No, but this is proper number twelve. So maybe it's the twelfth formula. You know, like they had uh, twelve different uh, when he, sections. Well, three, I believe it's about three years ago. He he fought in that, and he made a lot of money. So I imagine he bought. He got invested into that to make a good. I, I don't know why. Probably. Well, you know what? For I putting no his idea. name on this, I think he did right because I think there's a lot of quality in this. I, I don't think this is just somebody slapped the name on it. It's just like whatever. No, um, the reviews I've been reading have really slammed the living hell out of it. I mean, really, it's really just tore it down. I, 
I like it. I, I, For an Irish I don't whiskey, think it, I, don't I think, think it deserves good. to be torn down. I don't think it's. I mean, I think it's actually really like really good. I don't know what the price point was. I don't either. Considering I, I, it's also kind of a, uh, it, it's a little gimmicky given it's you know for an M. Is it an MMA fighter? Yeah, he's an MMA, MMA fighter. And he fought boxing for one fight for a his whole name. Of you know, you might be getting hate just because of his name. He's very mouthy, very cocky, arrogant. Uh, you know, the, the reviews from the whiskey uh, sites have just slammed this. There may be because it might be a little slam. Maybe little they don't like him as a person. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're just see. jealous because he's all fit and he's got a big tiger in front of his chest and they're just a bunch of sissies, okay? I mean, I don't know. But this is good. Uh, it has that essence that you get in most Irish whiskeys. Uh, it's, um... <sighs> Well, what I like about this, I can leave it in my mouth and just let it sit there. And it's so light that you can just really enjoy the light flavors. You know, it's like some stuff is just like, okay, I gotta swallow it. Just <laughs> No, I don't. I, you know, it, it, it's 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 good. I don't. I don't see why people are saying such bad things about it. I don't either. I mean, that's kind of a little, a little bit of a minty in the beginning, and then it kind of uh, a little bitter thing at the end. No, I think I think it's more minty. I like you said. Yeah. Creamy minty is what creamy, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Creamy mint. And the, it, it starts out really good. It's mm. kind of sweetish and sweet, and, and just kind of gets a little more intense at the end. But it, it's smooth. This is his first generation. I mean, this is the first year that this has come out. Okay. So let's see what the future holds with this and mm-hmm. if other things will be coming with them. It was sort of a last minute thing. I saw it. I thought, okay, I better pick it up because I know you wanted it. I did. I've been looking looking, and I'm glad you bought it. You really surprised me. Yeah. And uh, I'll let you even take it home with you. Happy face. <laughs> Is that going to be happy face? Yeah, you can take it home with you. All right. Maybe we should leave awesome. it here so people can see it for a little bit. Maybe a little bit, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, all, all the naysayers, I I think they're being very unfair. I think this is this is not an extraordinary Irish whiskey. It is just a really good, down-to-earth Irish whiskey. I think that's what he was shooting for and think he made it. Yeah. You know, I think uh, Conor McGregor, he's been ducking punches and ducking kicks, ducking all kinds of things throughout his whole life. <laughs> I think, and then he comes out with a, a good right hook, and he knocked it out of the, knocked it out for the ten count, maybe mm-hmm. even a twelve count. I don't know, but uh, I'm sure that when he, as he was ducking, he slid up, hit that subscribe button like everybody should be doing right That's now. That's right, bam, 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 bam. Show us where it's at. <laughs> Somewhere in this area. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, now I hear the bell ringing, Burns. So why don't you go ahead and sign us off? All for one, one for all. One for all.